Uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll be fine with the weather. It perhaps not perfect visibility for a VFR flight in the mountains, but if we stay low and keep visual contact with the ground, I have the movie map to give me an idea of where we are too. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll probably make it. Let's give it a try, shall we? So in the comments on the last one of these videos, Andy mentioned about my thoughts of a top 10 most dangerous airfields that have done. Uh, my guess is that most if not all are going to be here in South Fiordland. And we still have some to visit on this tour which will definitely make the list. So to give myself a bit of time to think about that is when we finish the tour here, which I think is another 21 legs, I'll then do a special bonus final video at the end of the series with my top 10 worst ones in that. But as for where we're going today, that may well have made the list in 11, but it's got a lot easier in X-Plane 12. As using the old style two panel X shaped trees that we used to have, I made some custom ones of those which covered 95% of, of the airstrip at high level above the runway. So it was a bit difficult to find but then you had to touch down on the one small area which was open at the end of one runway before you got to tree foliage at both sides and above you as well so it was kind of like a tunnel of trees and on top of that the only end you could get into required some mold aerobatics because of the terrain so that worked well in 11 but doesn't in 12 due to how X-Plane seems to render 2G objects uh, like the foliage for the roof of the tunnel uh, close up things like that disappear from view now so that just doesn't work anymore and I've deleted all of that roof of the tunnel foliage um, so you can now land at the much easier other end of the runway which is much more open and even the aerobatic end of the runway isn't so scary now there's not a tunnel of trees to get into yeah, with the edits, if we could see where we're going, it's a reasonably easy one. Uh, with the visibility today, that might make things a little more interesting. So I'm picking the open end of the runway to keep uh, away from the mountains at the other end. And as I said, I've got the moving map, so fingers crossed I should be able to line myself up. Turn and it should be coming into view on our right. Uh, ooh, that's way too high, isn't it? Uh, nope. All over the place there. No chance we're stopping. That's abandoned ship. Yeah, so looks like we might be doing the approach to the more difficult end after all then. Uh, firstly, let's try and go down the valley a little way so we have some distance to sort ourselves out. And we need a U-turn back again, which is a bit tight because you can't gain too much altitude because heading back to the airfield from here it's all downhill and uh, hopefully that's just the terrain going downhill and not a description of my flying a little white river here then sharp right turn to the runway and 
we're way too high again actually aren't we uh, nope that's all over the place yep forget that one as well never mind next attempt then um, yep yeah, third time lucky they say don't they so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm confident confident we'll do it this time way down the valley before we turn round. Oh, we should have plenty of room now. Use the moving map to line ourselves up and we'll have plenty of time to get ourselves stabilised, happy, all ready to make a good approach. Right then, it's out there somewhere. There it is, yeah, you can see it. And we're too high again, aren't we? And too fast. Uh, oh, let's just try it and see what happens. Oh, brakes, brakes. I forgot this will be a wet runway as well now, won't it? Oh, no, we're not going to stop in time, are we? Oh, for God's sake. I was hoping for something a, a little better than that. Yeah, just too high and too fast. Ooh, missed the tree nicely. That was well done. Actually, nothing's broken. I, I, I still have working parts. Um, if we just ignore these trees for a moment and get back onto the runway. Uh, yeah, with the X-Plane 11 one, this used to be just a very short touchdown area here, and then there were trees up above us. that form the tunnel. Well I must admit with all the trees up there causing flickering shadows all over the runway on the cockpit this airfield was a bit of a frame rate killer so it might be for the best that they've gone anyway. But, uh, yeah that's our visit to this one which I think is called Whitewater. I didn't really bother reading the the documentation because it just tees up a, a gives you a little teaser about that tunnel of trees which doesn't exist anymore. Well, anyway, I suppose we can get some fuel while we're here. Uh, I'll fill up and uh, see you again for the next one.